Promote your brand here at Viral Hip Hop News. Hit me, Sam Ant, at dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com. dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com. Let's go. Hot off the presses. Grab your exclusive merch at the Viral Hip Hop Shop. Protect your energy at all costs. And you tired of all these self-proclaimed goats? Well, be a goat killer. Exclusively at the Viral Hip Hop Shop. Link in the right. description. world. Definitely. I found that Nas clip, man. Sorry yes, about sir. the delay. And I, I can't wait to play it. Let's work. That's going to try to hold back freedom of speech. And that fight ain't over yet. I brought up names. I brought up names like, um, you know, Cam, Nelly. Cameron because he had a hot single. The album to me is garbage, and that's how I feel. You know, rappers are scared to talk about these things, and the radio stations get paid to play these records over and over. The album's garbage. I'm saying step up your pen game. Noriega. I like Nori, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like he's really not taking this game serious enough. He's, he's more talented than that. Who am I to decide? Who am I to say something? I'm a human being with opinion. Nelly, he made remarks about KRS One. To me, it's outrageous. I don't know why I'm saying this. I don't know why what's got into me. But one thing is, I love the music too much. And I'll try to stay real to it. When I see people faking the funk, I can't have it. I bought, I, I bought Nelly album. I bought Nori album. Nelly's very talented. But just the battle between him and KRS One, I ain't understand, and I spoke, I spoke about it. Now, when one rapper takes it upon himself to challenge me, we're gonna see what happens when my next album come out. How's that going? Uh, that next album's gonna change hip hop again. Change hip hop again because the way it is now, it's no direction. The radio station, Angie Martinez, makes records and really disgraces hip hop music. Flexes on the air with a net. His voice is nasty. He's taking money out of the table. I'm not having it. You want to play a new Nas record? He got to pay. He got to pay me. And All right. So that, that unreleased or not unreleased. Right. Resurfaced clip of Nas. Yeah. Talking about a lot that was going on in the industry. Naming names. Obviously the Cameron and Noriega thing. Nelly thing. That was back then during that, that hip hop time. What did, what did you think about what you think about the whole thing? But the Angie Martinez and Flex part in particular, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I heard parts of that clip. It's probably one of them old videos we put up a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. But um I don't remember that part about Angie Martinez and Flex for right. sure. That that's um I think see when when you when, when you're in those type of situations, I think as far as being like the those DJs or whatnot, there's certain things that you can play, but there's certain things that you have to play. Right? Like you can probably play some of the people you rock with and stuff like that. But for the most part, they've given you, you know, itinerary of this needs to play here because the labels or whatever pay for these slots, you know, to continuously run however it runs eight, nine songs in a row. So that's how you can go all over the world and hear the same songs, you know, over and over. Some places they mix it like you turn on Hot 97, Power 99, you hear different things mixed in there. Right. But for them, you still want to hear those core songs though uh -huh. on rotation. Um, yeah, and, I, and they, 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 they just had a job at the, at the end of the day. Right. Now, as far as like, um, I don't know when the audio came out, man, but it's it, it's so telling for now how where hip hop's kind of, in my opinion, devolved to, because now it, it just got so like we was we was talking about it, I think maybe last week or the week before about Nas how he didn't you know none of his new albums he's talking about killing he ain't talking about killing nobody right he ain't talking about no bullshit just real shit right. even though you know, so. That's all we want to see. We we understand we're going to have a portion of rappers that's going to be as the quote low vibrational, but where are the ones that can mix it up and still be creative, still make the boom bop, still make you dance, but give you the real message. That's all we want to see push. I'm tired of hearing, you know, um the sexy reds being pushed, the Cardi B's being pushed and um the, the little dirts with this degenerate message that they got, right? Great artists all of them, right? Can make you dance and all that, but the message is very, very important, and it could be downright detrimental to the youth, and we see that it is. I think this is probably around the time that we did that hip hop is dead and got yeah. a lot of backlash for it. He was yep. kind of tired, and when I when I listen to this audio, and now I look at where we're at today, and he talks about the DJs, like you said, they got a job to do. They're they're mere pawns in a bigger scheme and right. a bigger plan, right? Bigger plot. 
Was that the kind of seed that was starting to be planted for for hip hop to be where it's at right now? Mm. Was that the beginning of what we see right now in the dumbing down of hip hop, the disrespect of the culture, the the lack of care for for lyrical content, right, and and lyrical execution, things that he was talking about twenty years ago that were way better than they are right now, but he was already kind of starting to complain about that, and he was one of the first people to kind of start, you know, you know what. Where's this shit going? Like, what what are we doing? And he took a lot of backlash for it when he said hip hop was dead. And now you look, and you can pretty much <laughs> stamp that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. I, I kind of listening to that now, and and listening to what you said, it kind of gave me like an epiphany. Like, damn, I think that was the start and the beginning of the I don't want to say the end of, but what we see right now, and it is Burr. a ravaged city, a ravaged state of hip hop. I know one time Professor Griff said. And I don't know if this is what they meant hip hop to mean when they created it, you know, higher infinite power healing our people. Mm-hmm. So it's like you say you say something like that, and it's like, all right, what is the music being used for? Like you go back into the early, you know, nineties, listening to the R and Bs and even into the two thousands, it was a it was a very, you know, love music about loving and you know, this person falling in love, meeting this and that and you know, and even in hip hop back then, you had your guys telling a story, but they wasn't everybody wasn't glamorizing. You had some that were, right, right, right. but people were telling the story, and they were telling you how they came out and how they evolved and moved on to different things. Now it's just one way, like totally. And so it's like the music has always been used to 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 either heal, to uplift, or to destroy people. Go, go put on some Marvin Gaye, go put on some Steve Wonder, go put on some Michael Jackson. You'll feel good. Music. Right, you go, you gonna, you know, but you put on these these people they got out here now, it's like it's over. You know, know what I mean? What listening to you know what I mean? exactly. It's like what's this garbage? I don't know what I'm listening to, it's insane. And then you got, and then imagine kids listening to that, downloading that message, and now subconsciously starting to act out some of the stuff they hear from yeah. the, the sexy reds and yeah. these different people. It My just, daughter's it feeds, in third grade. Kids right. is twerking, bro. No way. My daughter's in third grade, and little girls are twerking. That's crazy. Where, you, where they get? Where are they getting that from? Exactly. Okay, they're getting it from their mama, maybe twerking, and their mama's twerking the sexy red and ice spice, or they're directly getting it from the source. Either way, somebody's influencing somebody to do it. Yeah, I'm not saying that you got to blame it completely on it, because I forgot who I was listening to. Oh, my man Ali Sadiq. He said he sold cocaine and got in a drug game, not because of New Jack City, but because of his daddy. So not every situation is a product word, of what you see. Word. Of course not. But what we're seeing right now with these kids, with social media and the phone, man, this is a direct source yeah. for what we're seeing right now. And it's scary. Third grade, twerking. And even like, um, I watched a lot of videos about like, kind of like drill drill rappers like Beef and shit. I watched that shit. And even the stuff, everybody's an op. Everybody's trying to, you know, kill this person, kill that person. People are actually telling about the killings and stuff in the song. It's like... It's really wild, man. Wow. Like if you really dig get into that world, you'll see like, yo, this shit is crazy. You know what I mean? That's like the drill, like the underworld, underworld of hip hop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the death part, the murder part, the kill 'em up part. Yep. That used that used to be the gangster. That's the gangster shit now. Yeah. It's the drill. So and that's and that's the biggest, most prominent part. You got women doing drill now. So <laughs> and you can talk about twelve, thirteen, fourteen year old out there committing murders. Yeah. That's scary as hell. It is, man. That's so scary as hell. Um, we're gonna keep being the, the beacon, the voice, the light for all of this, and just giving you the real. That's what y'all want. I mean, that that's what makes us different from any other platform that you want.